told me or the crew where we're going. I want to know and I want to know now. Calm down, Jack. We're headed to an island on the current of the Indian Sea. It's uncharted and there's supposed to be a lot of oil there. Well, there's a lot more business for me once we get there. Besides, what's in it for your part? I'm afraid I can't tell you that, Jack. You'll have to pay for a ticket like everyone else. No spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the Doc Marshal is going to say about these chloroform grenades? Just one of these things could take out a full-grown elephant. Don't worry yourself about that, Jack. I gave them two grand to keep their mouths shut. Come in! Oh, hello there, Weston. I was just telling Jack about our production location. Well, let's just hope they're horrible inhabitants. Oh, don't worry. They will be. That reminds me, I gotta call Duan. She doesn't have six hours to put on her face. If she wants to be in this movie, she's gotta be on this boat in ten minutes. She doesn't want to be in this film. What? She pulled out. She pulled out? Yesterday, I told you. You said we were filming in Hawaii, right? That's what you told her! Yeah, but we're not shooting in Hawaii, which begs the question. Where the hell are you gonna film this? God damn it, Weston. That doesn't matter. All that matters is that you look her in the eye, and you lie to her. That's why I came here, Dunham. You're not listening. We gotta stop this shoot before we go bankrupt. Not an option. Set sail, Jack. Huh? Carl, wait a minute. Weston, I'm shooting this movie on schedule for hell or high water. For God's sakes, think like a winner. Call my agent and get him to hold auditions at the studio in two days, and tell him to email me the footage of the actresses. I need my goddamn leading lady. But Carl, how the hell are you going to film without your actress? I'll shoot around her. Defeat is always momentary. Now find me a girl for my movie, even if you have to marry her. Now hear this. All hands with the venture must board immediately. Okay, fellas, let's get that crate on board. Joy, get your dumb ass up here. Ready to let go. Form the crew. Aye, sir. All right, men. Better go. Yes, sir. Move it! Okay, let's get that gateway ashore. Release those lines. Jack. Hello. Oh, well, here's the big one.
There's our known position. Due south, nine to the east. Okay, look, Carl, you promised me information when we reached these latitudes. Now, where are we going? Way southwest of Sumatra. Southwest? There's nothing southwest of Sumatra for thousands of miles. Are you sure? Let me see the map. Keep I your shirt measure. on. Keep your shirt on, Jack. We're not going thousands of miles, and you're not going to find this island on any chart. This is the island we're looking for. It was discovered by the captain of a Norwegian bar. It's the sole surviving piece of land of an uncharted island, never before seen by man. Was once considered only to be myth until now. Carl, you're asking me to fund a wild goose chase. I mean, that the skipper must have been drunk off his ass or trying to pull the biggest bullshit story of all time. No, he wasn't. I'm talking about a primitive world, unseen by man for generations. The most spectacular thing you've ever seen. This is where I'm going to shoot my movie. Where did you get this? Singapore, two years ago. Here's a long sandy peninsula. The only possible landing place is through this reef. It's said that the island is protected from witnesses by a fortress of fog. And across the base of the peninsula, cutting it off from the rest of the island, is a wall. A wall? Why a wall? Say the people that used to live there needed it. Why? There was something on the other side. Something they feared. <sighs> Come on, Denim. The skipper was obviously out of his goddamn mind. The only thing that was probably on that island is sandy beaches, tall mountains, and a ton of oil for us to take back to the company. Captain Jack Driscoll, please report to the deck. Come on, Carl, grab that. with all this ruckus, Jack. Seems to have a stowaway on board. Sorry, sir, I didn't mean any harm. Oh, you didn't, did you? Well, you better not be from the press, because if you are, there is going to be a huge lawsuit. Calm down, Dad. She's our problem. What's your name? My name is Ann Darrow. I'm an archaeologist with the University of Alberta, Canada. I'm interested in your island, but it's got nothing to do with your movie. Well, there's no way you could have found out where we're going. Who did you pay off at the docks? studying charts that led to the island you're going to. The government shut it down before he got too far. When a friend of his told me about it, I thought I'd take my chances. I don't know. Come on, man. I have to go some stock. Maybe we can find a use for her. What are you suggesting? Well, the boys and I did find a camera she was using to take some stilts. That's a good point, Bob. How would you like to pay this off by being this expedition's official photographer? Hey, now hold your horses, Jack. I've got a better idea. Have you ever done any acting? Well, I did join an acting course in high school, if that counts. If that counts, that's perfect! Perfect? It's so perfect. Jack, don't you see? We can film the whole movie after all. Young lady, I've got a job for you. I want you to be the star in my new movie. What? Picture this kid. Imagine, if you will, a film with a passionate romance, a daring adventure, a searing drama, all starring you. Well, I don't know. What's the matter, Anne? Afraid of failure? Afraid you're not good enough? I'm plenty good enough, Mr. Denim. I'll do it. Well, Denim, looks like you got your leading lady. <laughs> so so she's gonna be still away. <laughs> well then, why don't we get your first scene started with? Her, come here! You called Mr. Denim? Take Anne to the costume room. Make sure she looks fabulous for her first scene. Sure thing, Carl. Follow me, Miss Darrow. 
All right, everyone, let's get this boat turned into a motion picture stage. I want my camera and equipment set up in 15 minutes. Now get going! Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Wait, Denim. I gotta do some budding in. Now what's your trouble, Jack? How much farther till where we're going? Not too far now. Well, are you gonna tell us what happens when we get there, or what's there? Now don't tell me you've gone soft on me, Jack. No, not, not on you or me, but on Anne. Oh, you have gone soft on her already. I can't get a love affair to complicate things, so cut it out. Love affair? You think I'm gonna fall for that? What are you really after, huh? Well, I know it's a fail what you're doing. Some big tough guy gets a look at a beauty's face and bang, he cracks and goes sappy. What are you talking about? It's the idea for my film. The Beast was a tough guy too, but when he saw the beauty, he cracked. He went soft, and then the little guys took him down. Beauty and the Beast, huh? Aren't you a little bit old into believing in fairy tales, Carl? <laughs> Have you ever heard of Kong? <laughs> well, yeah, but isn't that just some kind of native superstition that they tell their kids to keep them good at night? Well, the legend goes that he's neither man nor beast, but something monstrous. All-powerful, holding the villagers in a deadly grip of terror. talking about something that no one on the face of the earth has ever seen and lived to tell the tale. And you expect to photograph it with your little cameras? If it's there, you're damn right. Yeah, I'm a monkey's uncle. Well, now you know why I bought those cases of chloroform grenades. <laughs> Giant beast. I think we'll need a straitjacket for him by the time this is done. Well, if I was the captain of a voyage to an uncharted island, I'd be insane too. <laughs> It's great, Anne. A wonderful performance. You can relax for five minutes. It's Daryl. You did a good job on that scene. I know it wasn't that good, but Mr. Denham felt strongly that... I know. I'm sorry. I was... You made it, girl. You know, maybe my luck has changed.
absolutely amazing. Is that the fog bank from the map? This is the position we've been looking for. Well, now that we found it, what do we do? We go through. And when the fog lifts, we set anchor. All right, you're the boss. Bob, change our direction. Head directly into the fog. I'm so. My vessel approaching for gets 337605. This is UNA51. You are sailing into restricted waters. Identify your vessel for immediate... find out what's over there. Now hold on, who's running this ship? I have found from past experience that keeping my casting crew around at all times is very useful. So she's coming with us. Fine. All right, get a boat ready. We depart in 10. Come along, Ed. Here we go, boys. Tie the dock line, I'm sure. The charge is set up around the beach. Let's go spray out. I don't want to get bitten out here. Dan! Come over here. I want to film some test shots of you near the canopy. You want to start filming already? Sure, why not? That's why we're here. One. Action! Look up slowly. You don't see. Now look higher. Still higher. That's it. Now you see. You're amazed. You can't believe it. It's terrifying. There's only one chance if you can scream. But you can't. For a sea stop. You just can't scream. Maybe. Maybe if you could look away. Maybe if you couldn't see it. Maybe then. You throw your arms over your eyes. And you scream! You scream, and you scream for your life! What the hell was that? What was that, a bear? That was a bear, wasn't it? Herb, get the camera. Yes, sir. Wait for us. Come on.
There's not a soul on this whole island. It's supposed to be uninhabited. Look at that wall. It's an ancient ruin. It must be as old as the pyramids of Egypt. Could be. The only difference is that the pyramids were repaired six months ago. You'll notice there's earth along those timbers. It'll have to be repaired after every monsoon season. Wait a second. Are you saying there are people on this island? Yes, and if anything, they're scared of something. That's why the wall's there to keep it out. And honey, let me let you down on a couple of things. One, this wall is an ancient ruin. Two, this island is uninhabited. the jackpot for you? I don't know, but I don't want to stick around to find out what the main course is. Make him a nice, friendly speech, Jack. Ani, uh, ngine ba commandment miji stigwan? Understand you. What are they talking about? How the hell am I supposed to know? For all I know, we've interrupted some kind of magic ritual for them. Well, tell them to stop it and ask them what they're going to do with that girl. Basa basa kon. Chili chili. Kumanaka kikimi. Basa. Goi. Hey, who's that guy? And what's he bitching about? I don't know. He, he looks like a witch doctor or something. All I can understand is something about a golden woman. But where...
He's pointing at Anne and saying something about the Bride of Kong. Jesus. He's saying he wants to buy Anne. Jack, can you tell him I like him too? Just not in that way. Uh... Shim shim. Shim... No. No! I think we better get out of here before they cut us off from the beach. Saving half the budget with these extras. You're right, Mr. Dunn, but what about Anna and Jack? Don't worry about that. I got it covered. All right, be ready for the 4th of July in 10.
camera rolling. sure to get an Academy Award for that one. My God, Jack, you're alive. Did you see it? No, I didn't. What was it? You're not going to believe me, but it's a giant monkey. A huge, hairy, monstrous ape. And it was amazing. A giant ape? Whatever it was, it took Anne. Damn it, Carl, I knew something like this would happen. What are we gonna do? going to go after it. Nothing makes a monkey out of me. All right, everyone, listen up. There is a big giant monkey out there with our star actress in, and we're going to do what every red-blooded, woman-loving American filmmaker would do and go out there and save her. Yeah! 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 I'll take the captain and 15 others in the jungle. Bob, stay here with 10 men. Guard that gate. Keep the natives at bay. Don't let them close it. Tell the others at the ship. We need more men, weapons, supplies, anything you can bring. I'll keep my radio on and try to stay in contact. Keep it on at all times. Aye, sir. You four, get that gate open. Rest you, follow me. And cut! Nice one, Jack. Wasn't that great, Herb? Great work, Denim. Get another roll of film. We're gonna need it to make this picture. Yes, sir. Listen, Carl, cut the crap. We're trying to save Anne here, not make a goddamn movie. Jack, Jack, you get to save the day and get the girl, and I get my third act. Everybody wins. If you slow us down, that monkey will be the least of your worries. All right, who's got the chloroform grenades? I do, sir. Good, you're coming with us. You never know what's out there. Come on, men. Single file, everyone. Don't lose sight of the person in front of you. Bob, keep the gate open for us. You got it, boss. Good luck. We have to find her. Yeah, come on, fellas. Ah. Ah. You still filming her? Yeah. There's no telling where he's gone in this dark. Hurry on, come on, fellas, hurry! Right. Keep up, fellas. Come on! Let's not look right sometimes. Stay close, boys! Stay close, boys! It's a Jurassic Park okay. from hell in here. We're close, boys. Keep those guns cocked. He's telling us. We're moving too slow, boys. Pick up the pace. Hi, sir. Hurry up, fellas. He's close. Hurry up, guys. We're getting away. We have to go after him. Come on, this way. Keep up, boys. Whoa! What happened? Get him. You okay? Yeah, I just found a goddamn hole. That's not a hole. <sighs> what the hell are you talking about, Jack? There you. 
shit. What is that? Would you look at the size of that thing? Is that your monkey denim? Yep. How tall do you think he is? 50, 55 feet. What was that? That got him. Everyone move slowly and follow me. My God. Mm. Wow. Would you look at the size of that brute, Jack? My God, if I could only bring back one of these things alive. Denim. Don't be getting any more of your life-threatening ideas. You're gonna get us all killed. Oh my God, it's still alive! <laughs> Calm down! Let's just get out of here before he wakes up. Yeah, come on, fellas. How long have we been out here for? Come down now, but I'm tired and hungry. Jack to base. This is Robert. Go ahead, boss. We've been hiking for about two miles and there's no sign of Anne or the ape. I guess that's better than finding blood or remain, right? Unless he's doubled him down completely. Well, probably not gonna catch him tonight. We might as well just camp here. Keep chasing him tomorrow. What are you, a bunch of old ladies? Come on, guys. Let's keep going. We've lost much ground already. That's it, Denim. Keep moving! Carl, they've been running all day. They need a rest. No, Bob. Jack's right. It's better if they rest here for the night. <laughs> Suit yourselves. Over and out. All right, Mike. Let's get those pipes moving! Aye, aye, sir. Let's get those up to the pool. Ah, hide. So, how long until we get those results? I'll have them done by tomorrow afternoon, but I have to head back to the ship to study it. Very well then, <clears throat> you go on and do that.
My dad took me to the Eiffel Tower, and I got sick in the elevator. I didn't. It's a sign of insecurity, you know, like when you knock down trees. Such a nice ape, such a sweet, nice, sweet monkey. You know we're gonna be great friends. Let's keep moving down the valley. I think we're close. Denim, come up here. I want to talk to you about something. Denim? Come on, guys. Get him to move. Otherwise, people are going to think it's just a guy in a goddamn suit. Bob to party. Bob to party. Jack here. What's your six? Well, the radar tells us the ape is moving north in a strange pattern. That's good. Maybe she got away and he's looking for him. Jack! Did you at least set up the seismic charges at your position? Alright, listen. There's a girl out there who may be running for her life from some gigantic turned-on ape. Jack, I know how you feel. I feel the same. There's a natural energy crisis that demands that we rise up against our own selfish defenses. You hypocritical bastards. All you're thinking about is your stock options and paychecks. Hey! Come on, we have to get a move on. All right. Let's keep it up, fellas. Yeah, it's gotta be as big as a house. What the hell? What's going on? Herb! Film this! Film this! Shit! Whoa, run! 
I can see Jack! Follow me! Come on! trail. Come on. Yeah, we're out. You can't swim across with the guns and bombs and the water's too deep. Wait a minute. What about those logs over there? We can use the vines over there to tie them all together and make rafts. You're right. Man, let's get moving. We're gonna build a couple rafts. Come on, Can't fellas, wait. get busy. Don't have all day. Pete, get that tree down. Yes, sir. You two, start building those large logs together. Boys, we need more rope. Hey, help me with these books. Grab as many vines as we can. We'll make rope. Keep those guns up by the bank. Let's get going. <sighs> Mr. Denim, I'm feeling really concerned about our personal safety. I don't think this type of assignment is right for me. You walk out on a Carl Denim film, you walk out on your career. You won't have any food to feed your family. Not your wife, not your kids. But Carl! Listen to me. I will personally guarantee this. Yeah, yes, sir.
quick, boys! Don't worry, Mr. Denim. I'm taking care of them. Stuff over there, boys. Set up the camera, Herb. Get a shot of me coming ashore. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get back there and start filming! Fine. If you don't want to, I will! Give me that camera! <laughs> Give me that goddamn camera! <laughs> her app. Let's head back to the ship, boys. What? The girl's dead, Jack. There's no point in continuing on. I mean, what's in it for us? Was she that good in bed? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I knew it! I knew it all along. You don't want to save Anne. You just want to risk everyone's neck for a stupid movie. I bet you knew about the eight the whole time, didn't you? You used all of us! Son of a bitch! We didn't need you anyway! Come on. We gotta keep moving. Come on! I think Dana might be right, you know? I think so too. Ah, who needs him anyway? Believe you me, if we had followed him, we would have been dino chow by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's back up and let's get everything going. Oh, it's too ahead to get on the ammo for this peak. Start going the ramp. Sure thing, Cage. Oh, 
Come on, leave it alone. It's just a baby. Away from me! Dale, what the hell did you do that for? Because I'm tired of these things trying to kill us! Put that goddamn camera away! Jack! Behind you! Shoot it, man! It's gonna kill you all! Don't shoot!
Hey, you all right, Jack? I'm fine. Sleep didn't get you up. No, I got Scrubber, same as you. I guess we're safe now. We've got to do something, Jack. Denim, get back to the wall. Tell the crew to give me 12 hours to get to Anne. If I'm not back by then, get the hell out of here. I can't go back to the wall. I'll get eaten. They gotta keep that gate open for me. Well, you wouldn't follow that beast alone. Someone's gotta follow his trail while it's hot. Who knows? Maybe I'll sneak her away. Twelve hours, Jack. Good luck. some time. A little bit more aging. How long? Take up the talk on biology time. I say uh, 10,000 years. While you're waiting, you can start filling up your gas tank with horse piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn. Jesus Christ! I hate to upset the man who feels like a winner, but I warned you. You should have radioed Anglehorn about bringing in the big one. Hey everybody, Dennis back! Huh? What? Clear the outside wall. That's Denim. Denim is back! Bring us more. What the hell you hopping? Take it easy, Denim. You're all right. Someone get him a drink! Aye, aye, sir. Here, it's whiskey. Calm down, Denim. Now, where are the others? They're dead. Oh my. Oh my god. Where is Anne? She's dead. Jack, too. They beat them both. Well, now that we risk our lives for nothing, we might as well head back to the ship. Yeah, he's right. If we stay here, we're dead. Yeah, he's right. Uh, All right, so let's get those lines and pipes back to the boats. Bradley, take your grip and get the gun. Wait a minute, what about the call? Huh? What? Yeah, what about him? We came here to make a movie. But we found something worth all the movies in the world. What? Where are you going with this denim? The chloroform grenades on the ship. We could put them to good use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. That'll be the you know something, Denim? I think you might have an idea up your sleeve. Tell me, do you plan on capturing the ape? Exactly. I mean, think about it. Do you think Kong sits on his baboon ass in a cave all day? No! The villagers are sacrificing their women to him all the time. And if we could get one of them to act as bait, then boom, we've got him. <laughs> Well then, count me and my men here. <laughs> Iron Man, listen up! Horse make monkey traps and be rich man! Yeah! Hell yeah! yeah. yeah. That? That? We all listen to Denim. Let's do this! Yeah! Yeah! All right, everyone, gather around. This is what we're gonna do.
Good God, what have I done? Gotta jump. Press. Took in a lot of water. Water? Look, I know this isn't the, the right place. How fast can we make it to the wall? But I'm gonna say it anyway. Can we get there in five minutes? I love you. What did you say? I love you. Oh, that was easier than I thought. I. Feels good to get out. Are you serious? And Jesus Christ. I just went through hell and back for you. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, Jack. What do you expect? That if you rescued me, I'd be eternally grateful? It doesn't work like that! <laughs> doesn't work like that! <laughs> it's okay. Calm down. Calm down. I love you, Jack. Careful with those grenades. No problem. You four, get those cameras set up for Mr. Denham. Easy with those boulders, boys. Keep it coming. Nice and easy. Careful with that. Come here, fellas. Look alive. Keep the rifle right first. Hey, Brad. Ask me those hook lines. Sure thing, bro. Any word on our monkey? Yes. The radar tells us that he's coming straight for us, about 45 miles an hour. What about the grenade? We're gonna need all of to make it down. Goodbye. 
They were the first things we got when you ordered. Don't forget our deal, Denim. We capture your monkey, we get to sponsor your attraction. Don't worry, Bob. You and your company will get all the advertising rights. Yes, but did we have to knock off the chief? He wasn't right in the head, Bob. We had to make it right. Besides, these savages need a better chief to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, below. Jack's back and he's got Anne with him. That's impossible! You said they were dead! I, I'm just as surprised as you are! Everyone run to the gate! Huh? They're alive! Woo! Thank yes, God! 20 bucks to say you live. Anne's been running. Oh, thank God you're alive. Here, drink some. All right. Great Scott, how did you get her back alive? We followed the ape up to the mountain. I snuck her out, and we came back by way of the river. Oh, Jack. There, there. You're all safe now. We'll be back on the ship in no time. Carl, what the hell's going on? What do you plan to do with that girl? No, Jack. Let's not be hasty. You're in on this too? <sighs> hey, it's Kong! Kong's coming back! Damn it! Fallen's here. Perfect. Alright, places everyone. You men, get the natives to close that gate. Alright, come on, you fuckers! Come, come on! on. Alright, boys, get out of station! Yo, station! Everyone, we gotta do this! This is not our drill! Move, 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 move! Oh! Get this gate locked down. I don't want that monkey getting burnt. He's two miles away. Come on, boys. Lock it down. Get in possession. What the hell is this? What's your plan, huh, Denim? Better start talking or I'm going to kick your ass right now. Now, Jack. I told you what would happen if you didn't clean up your act. Take him and his girl to the ship. You son of a bitch, Dan! Keep them all together. Make sure they hold them back. Oh, help me out here! I'm sorry, my old friend, but you can't interfere with business. Business? What are you talking about? I'm the captain! Not anymore, pal. <laughs>
get him! It's over, Denim! Shoot the damn thing! No, I need him alive! It's over, you goddamn lunatic! Everyone back to the ship! Run for your life! Got him! Boys, we got him! We're gonna be rich! <laughs> For Christ's sakes, man, don't just stand there. Get a move on. Get back to the ship and get me some anchor chains, a rope, and some tools. We gotta get this beast moving. What are you gonna do with him? Make a raft and float him out onto the ship. Bob, contact a large super tanker and bring it here right away. Yes, sir. The whole world is gonna pay to see this. You're mad, Denim. No chains are ever gonna hold that thing. We're gonna give him more than chains. He's always been king of this world, but we're gonna teach him fear. We're billionaires, and I'm gonna share it all with you. Right in a few months, he'll be famous. You'll see his name on Broadway. King Kong, the eighth wonder of the world! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs>
Nightline, New York City. I'm Thornton Del Hanty here for the big premiere of King Kong. My old friend. How much did we make? Five million. Not bad for one night, eh? I've cropped in. Payment in advance. We agree. Eight hundred thousand. Just like we promised. And we're gonna do this again every night. Not me. I've had enough last to see if I can get into some rosy country. What about Anne? Is she going with you? Got a bit of an attitude there, girl. Wasn't she supposed to be here? She's gone, Jack. She quit on me. Too bad, too. It would have been a great angle. Beauty and the Beast. I must be getting old. I thought you two had something going there. We did, but it wasn't going to work out. Besides, I don't need anyone tagging along with me where I can go in anymore. We're live in 10 seconds. You nervous, Jack? Let's just get this over with. It's showtime! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, live from New York City, Mr. Carl Denham. today to tell you a strange tale. A tale so strange that nobody would ever believe it. But ladies and gentlemen, seeing is believing. And I have brought back proof of our adventure. An adventure in which 25 of our party met horrible deaths. All lives lost in the pursuit of a savage beast. A monstrous aberration of nature. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the man who felled this beast using only his wits and the love of a captured woman. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Driscoll. Well, Jack, what was it like risking your life in order to save a beautiful woman? It must have been terrifying. Were you scared? Yeah. <laughs> a grant a word. I paid good money, damn it. Thanks for it. Now get off my stage. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Driscoll had a little too much to drink tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you the greatest thing your eyes have ever beheld. He was a king, a star, a god in the prehistoric world he knew. Now he comes to civilization before you in chains. Merely a captive, a sideshow to gratify man's insatiable curiosity. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you King Kong, the eighth wonder of the world. its arms, revealing true magnificence to us all.
ladies and gentlemen, a moment you will not forget, as His Majesty roars fiercely into your hearts. Roar, Kong! Roar with all your might! <laughs> introduce you to Miss Anne Darrow, one of the bravest women I have ever met. One person, more than any other, was responsible for King Kong being on this stage tonight!
Bay Hill. We're gonna guard up on Fifth Avenue and 32th Street. Roger that. Make way for General Nevitt. All right. Our target should be easy to find. He is approximately 55 foot tall, and he is always wearing his boots. Now I want all battalions guard the major landmarks. I want the copters in the sky at all times. The intelligence says he is going through the East River. When he is inside, we open fire. When we got him, I want him to drop, not us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now move out. We're stepping. Hop out. Let's move. All right, let's go now. Yeah. 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 Denim, what the hell is wrong with you? Shut up! My career is ruined and it's all your fault! My fault? You had him chained up like a circus freak. He was gold! You could have been rich beyond your wildest dreams! But oh no, you have to get feelings for that monster! He's not the monster, Denim. You are. And I'm not gonna let you get away with this. Everything that you want to tell the world, I'm gonna deny. In fact, I'll tell them all the truth. How you tortured the poor thing and tied him up with nets and grappling hooks and how the chloroform grenades made you a hero. Pete will have your ass in a heartbeat. <laughs> You're bluffing. You don't have the guts, kid. Watch me. Wouldn't. You think I wouldn't? When you plan to turn me in? 
Well, if I'm gonna go down, I might as well go down with a bang and have some fun. My mother told me never to hit girls. But in this case, I think I can make an exception! <laughs> Still has the girl. All right, boys, follow me in. Tight holding pad, about 60 feet above. No, don't put me down. Don't put me down. No, don't go. Don't let go of me. I'm killing you. Please don't let go.
Finish this.